based on what factors can we choose between RabbitMQ, Kafka and ActiveMQ for a microservices based system. The first is based on the messaging patterns. RabbitMQ is suitable for traditional messaging patterns like point to point or publish subscribe. It's known for its ease of use and its support for various messaging protocols. Kafka is ideal for high throughput, real time event streaming and data processing scenarios. It excels in handling large volume of data with durable, distributed and fault tolerant capabilities. Capabilities. Whereas ActiveMQ offers diverse messaging patterns and protocols catering to traditional queuing and for more advanced messaging needs. So the second is scaling and performance. RabbitMQ provides decent performance for typical messaging workloads but might face challenges with high throughput streaming scenarios. Whereas Kafka is designed for high scalability and performance, especially for scenarios involving massive volumes of data streaming and real-time processing. Whereas ActiveMQ offers good scalability but might not match Kafka's performance. 